Hi, this is Topher with OS Training. We're going to do a series here on what I would consider an intermediate level to creating custom post types. The advanced level would be to code them all out by hand using something like the code you would find here on register post type in the documentation. If we get down near the bottom and you can start to see this kind of thing, which isn't too bad. You could just copy and paste this and it would work, but it's still pretty complicated and if you messed up one character it would get really ugly. On the other end of the spectrum is something like easy content types from Pip and Williamson where it's all web forms and there's very very little code involved at all. We're gonna look at something kind of in the middle. The first thing we're going to do is to create a plugin for ourselves. I'm using desktop server here so I'm using a local environment and you can see my domain name is bnb.dev and we're going to create a custom post type for rooms in our bed and breakfast. So I'm going to pull up Sublime Text as my editor. Open. If we go to Sites, bnb.dev, WP Content, Plugins, there's hello.php, which is the Hello Dolly plugin, and I'm just going to open that up real quick, and we're going to convert this to one of our own. So I'm going to take out all the code. I'm going to take out this bit of comment because we don't need that. I'm going to change this to be BNB Rooms. We don't need a plugin URI. The description will be there. Let's make the font just a little bit bigger. Author, Topher, version 1.0, and I don't need an author URI. There. Now I'm going to do file, save as, and in my plugins folder I'm going to create a new folder called BNB Rooms. And then I'm going to make my file called bnb-rooms. There. Now we have a plugin that does nothing. Let's take a look over here. You go to plugins. And here's BNB Rooms, a custom post type for rooms for our bed and breakfast and I can activate it and nothing will happen because the plugin doesn't do anything yet it's just the header so now in our next video we're gonna take a look at generate WP which will help us create the code for our custom post type and not mess it up